Alright guys, so you know my 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 Mach 1's messed up. It's getting totaled, so I'm gonna be parting out some things. I just wanted to show you guys how to remove the upper plenum on the manifold. It's usually where people clean them, polish them out, or install the uh, pulse high performance or MMR performance manifold spacer. So there's gonna be two tens on the side. I already took a couple things off. Um, they're gonna be these two tens. And you just disconnect it from here and it lifts off. Next is gonna be the actual shaker bracket. It's just four tens and one thirteen on the throttle body. It's where the tens will go right here. Two tens back there. And just right there. Next, I'm just gonna disconnect some vacuum lines to move them out the way. And I went ahead and removed the cruise and the throttle cable. Uh, to remove the throttle cable, it's just two tens right there. And then just the spring just slides off. And once you have them off, just move it out the way and just make things a lot easier instead of fighting with the cables. And I'd always just put the bolts back in so you don't lose them. Uh, next thing, I'm just gonna take off the intake inlet tube. It's just gonna be just the eight uh, holes and you can just move it out the way. As you can see, I just moved it out the way. I mean, you could unplug it from the, the mass air, but it's just not gonna be a big issue. And just next, just remove the the mail the mail connectors, the TPS, IAC, and then just this back one, just so you have enough clearance to take off the lid. Some of you are gonna have, or a majority of you guys are gonna have the EGR tubing right here. Um, I don't have an EGR delete, um, but you're just gonna have two bolts right here. You're gonna slide the the exhaust port off and move it out the way enough where you can actually um, have no issues with that. Uh, next thing is you're just going to remove the 8 millimeter bolts that are on the upper lid of the manifold. Keep in mind uh, I do not have any power tools right now so I'm using this ghetto tiny ratchet with the extension and a deep socket 8 millimeter. So just remove those, they're not really hard to do. and. Um, all right guys, well I took all the bolts out, very simple, and you're just going to go ahead and grab this and lift this off. Oh, I forgot there was a vacuum hose on this side. It's going to be just one, one last vacuum right there. And you can go ahead and remove the upper lid. Now, um, as you can see, it, it can get quite dirty, oil and whatnot. Definite, definitely very oily. Um, you can go ahead and get a JLT oil separator or, or whatever you choose to. And uh, there's the spacer and the, and the gasket right there. And how you actually install these is you leave the original gasket on, put the spacer and then the new gasket that they provide on top including new bolts, you, you, you will need longer grade um, bolts to have it fit. And um, just to install it, it's just repeat the steps and that's it.